Let's look at some of the ways we can duplicate layer information here inside of Photoshop. So I have a JPEG open. Let's go up to Layer, New, Layer via Copy. Notice the keyboard shortcut, Command or Control J. So let's try that. Command or Control J. Fantastic, we get a duplicate of our background layer up here as layer one, and they are identical. Nice and easy. Let's delete that. Let's try that process again, but let's first put a selection in place. So with my quick selection tool, let's select that first donut just there, Command or Control J, and if I turn off that background layer, there is our donut up on its own layer, which is fantastic. And you'll notice that the background layer remains unharmed. We haven't changed that in any way. Very nice. So let's uh, come down to this second donut just here, and let's select it, and let's try a variation of what we just did there. So notice the background layer is selected, I have that second donut selected, layer, new. Let's try a new layer via cut this time. Notice the keyboard shortcut, it's command or control plus shift plus J. So it's the same as copy, but we throw in the shift key as well. Okay, so again, my background layer is targeted just here. Command or control plus shift plus J. Now we indeed get this second donut jumping up to a new layer, which was similar to what happened with the copy command. But let's look at our background layer. So this time, we are left with a white solid fill in place of where that donut was. Now, the reason we have solid white and not a hole is because a background layer inside of Photoshop can't support transparency. So let's undo this one step and let's unlock the background layer by clicking on the padlock icon just here. So I've now turned the background into a regular layer. So now if I press Command or Control, plus shift plus J, we now get that second donut upon its own layer again. But if we look at what was the background layer, we can see now there is indeed a hole there where that donut was. So that's it there guys, up under the layer menu, new, there's your keyboard shortcuts for copying and cutting layer information. Hope it helps.